Jay Cutler was asked who is the MVP on offense so far in Bears training camp. Without hesitation, he answered Eddie Royal. I mean, I've known Eddie for a long time. I think over the years he's gotten better and better and better and, and where he is right now in his career. You can line with the inside, you can line with the outside, you can kind of put any, any coverage on him that you want and he knows kind of how to beat it and how to get open. So he's, a, he's kind of a safety valve out there. So it's, 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 it's fun having him back on the same team. Royal is a hard worker, humble. At five feet, 10 inches tall, his family jokes that he came out of the womb pushing and fighting just to keep up with his big brothers. He's not a prima Madonna doesn't have an entourage. Still drives the same car he bought eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'm going to be a normal person. It's not going to matter that I play in the NFL. Uh, none of that's really going to matter. So I like to kind of get used to that now so that the transition isn't that bad when I'm done playing. Eddie Royal doesn't see athletes like himself as heroes. The hero, he says, is his sister, Christina, an Air Force captain who has served two tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. She puts her life on the line every day, working outside the wire, doing counterintelligence. I respect everything that she's doing, her drive, just watching her and everything that it's, it's all under the radar, you know, they don't get attention for what they're doing and I just really respect that. I look up to her so much, I don't know if she knows that or not, but I really do. Along with my mother, she's been my hero. Eddie and Christina Royal are the two youngest of seven children. They are very close, even attended the same college. When she left for Afghanistan five years ago, Eddie got all choked up. It's so dangerous what they're doing and she left and I was okay saying goodbye because it felt normal and then she came back for the second time to say goodbye again and that's when it all hit me. I couldn't hold it back. I wanted to be strong for her as much as I could because she was leaving but the, my emotions just hit me and it almost hit me right there. I had to hold it together but just saying goodbye to your sister not knowing if you're going to see her again is a scary thing and, and so just reliving that moment just sucked. I mean, I'm, I'm glad she made it back. Covering the Bears in Bourbon 8, Peggy Kaczynski, NBC5 Sports.